Sky 5 giving us a live look at the state capitol tonight, where one debate that could get heated this year involves the hemp-derived product called Delta 8. For many, it's a perfectly legal alternative to marijuana, but the industry is completely unregulated. News Channel 5's Chris Davis takes us down the interesting path towards changing that. It's a sativa-leaning hybrid. It's right now, these products are completely unregulated. They're being sold throughout Tennessee. And it's safe to say the House Majority Leader's mind is made up. I would encourage adults to avoid these products. Which is why last year, William Lamberth fought to completely ban Delta 8 products in Tennessee. But you can tell that effort was unsuccessful if you even glance around Nashville. Between the pop-up stands on Lower Broadway to Delta 8-infused bars like Buds and Brews in Germantown. The industry isn't blowing smoke, and neither are big fans who called his office to oppose a ban. We heard from a variety of Tennesseans from across the state, which is exactly how this process should work. So instead of fighting for removal, he's now fighting for regulations. We can either allow that to continue, or we can regulate this product and make it safer for every Tennessean. A new version of the bill this year would ban the sale of hemp-derived products to anyone under the age of 21 and create rules and oversight for how it's developed and packaged. It ensures that every single product is going to be labeled and packaged appropriately so that you know exactly as a consumer what you're buying. The effort has support from a place you might not expect. Things that um, are pretty common sense that ensure uh, public safety. Kelly Hess is a lobbyist for the Tennessee Growers Coalition that represents the hemp industry. We are in favor of common sense oversight and testing of these products. Um, it is critical for public safety and market development. Lamberth hopes he can get enough votes to make this happen because while his opinion on Delta 8 hasn't changed, his strategy certainly has. If you buy these products, you know exactly what you're buying. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. A previous version of this year's bill died last year in the Tennessee Senate, but lawmakers hope with a little convincing it can have enough votes to pass this year.